Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having a great day. I've got for you a fun, beginner-friendly guitar riff. Very good for kind of getting our fingers working, getting the muscles going, and also just a catchy, great riff. Live and Let Die, uh, originally by Paul McCartney and Wings, and then Guns N' Roses did just such a fantastic cover of it. Uh, it's just that little riff that happens in the song. It's not the whole song. It's meant for um, a little quick win. You know, so for you beginners out there that are looking for that quick win, nice, easy song to pick up, this is the one for you. Let's start learning it now. OK, so we're going to put the tab on screen for this one. That will just be below the screen. Um, <clears throat> just remember that the tab is the other way round. So the string at the bottom is actually the thinnest. Sorry, the string at the top is actually the thinnest string. And the string at the bottom is the thickest string, so just remember that. And speaking of the strings, as this is a beginner lesson, let's just go through them. We've got six strings, and it's Eddie A Dynamite, Goodbye Eddie. So that's E, A, D, G, B, E. Or in terms of numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. But I prefer to use the letters so that the numbers, E, A, D, G, B, E, so that the numbers in the tab aren't conflicting with the numbers of the strings. Hope that makes sense. Uh, so we're going to start with an open, which means a zero, on the G string, then two on that string, and then three on that string. Okay, now notice I'm using my index and my middle finger to do that. So I'm going zero, two, three, and I'm using a plectrum today. You could use your thumb if you want to, it doesn't really matter. So that's the beginning. Then the next part is open on the string above, on the D string, then two on that string, and then three on that string. So it's pretty easy to remember. It's just zero, two, three on the G string, string four, the fourth string down, and then zero, two, three on the third string down, or the D string. So, <clears throat> and then you'll see that there's a little squiggle on the music, and that just means that you're stopping the strings. That's called a rest. Don't overthink it. It just means that the note is not played out. Stop. Stop. Rather than... You know, it's ringing. Okay? And then the very last bit is we take our ring finger, we go to fret 3 on the A string, and then we go index finger on 1 on the same string. So there's a bit of a stretch with our fingers. Okay? So we've got... So with our plectrum or your thumb, just make sure you're moving up the strings back towards you. And then all that happens is that we then just do that again. The rhythm is slightly different. When we get to the 3-1, it's a little sooner than the previous part, but it's still exactly the same. Zero two three, zero two three, three one. Zero two three, zero two three, three one. Okay, and we do that twice. And once you get the hang of it, start to maybe speed it up, but only when you've got it sounding nice. You know the notes are sounding good, right? And so what I mean by that is not, you know, like that. Make, listen to what you're doing. So once you've got that, we can then move on to what we call a key change. So what that means is, is it's actually the same riff and the same notes. Not the same notes, but the same riff. Da -da -da, but it's higher sounding, so we've changed the key. Now for this, it means going a little higher up the neck, so that means towards the sound hole. We're going to go to fret 3 on the finished string with our index finger. We're going to strike that note, the 3. Then we're going to put our ring finger on 5 and our pinky on 6. Now this is the ideal way of doing it. Index, ring, pinky. So index, middle, ring, pinky. However, if that's difficult, then you could go index, ring, then move your ring up. But as a warm up, I suggest 
using your pinky and trying to leave these fingers all down like this. If you're a beginner, you'll probably find that really difficult and you'll want to need to lift up because your muscles aren't there yet. Uh, it helps if you bring your thumb lower and you push your wrist forwards. And then you're going to do the same thing on the string above. So three, five, six, then three, five, six on the B string. And then finally, three on the G, and then index, sorry, fifth fret with the ring finger on the G string, and then third fret. Okay, so this is our head, these are the frets. One, two, three. So let's do that again. So that's three, five, six, three, five, six, five, three. Repeat. Okay, then to put the two things together. Then you'd repeat that. Then the key change. And there you have it. Got yourself a great little riff, very memorable. Hope you enjoy it. If you have done, then please give this video a thumbs up. Keep on playing. I'll see you again soon for another lesson.